<laughs> you gotta look straight at the camera at the lens and do that. <laughs> Let's get it. Nice. Let's breathe. Let's go. Come on, halfway. Let's get it. Come on. Push! Come on. I thought you were gonna. How many did you get? Six? Seven. Seven, it's fine. Still a PB, but. Let's get it. Keep breathing. One, two, let's go. Come on, let's breathe. Come on, let's get it. Come on, three more, oh, let's go, two more. Come on, let's go. Stay down. How many did you get? Match match last last week's drops. I feel, I feel like maybe you could have got one more. But you might have needed some help on the way up, but Let's go. Let's go. No messing around. Let's Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go, here we go. One. Come on, one more. The top ain't smiling at you. He ain't doing it right. Get it. Six, seven, let's go. Come on. So we're walking through the park. My man Shabab challenges me to a pull up off. He claims he can do 13. 
Yeah. I said 12, he said 13. Now, Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. Full extension, please. Seven, eight, nine. Oh shit, <laughs> 10, 11, 12. Oh my god, 13, 14. <laughs> 15. How you got 16? 16. Your turn. I'm not gonna beat that. I know. I can't do more than like that. <laughs> nah, wider, one over with your left hand. Yeah. You didn't do that. That's what I did. One, two, three, four, five. Seven is you're gonna burn out though. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Let's go, sixteen. Woohoo! Seventeen. Oh, now I wish I did one more. Fuck. <laughs> but you didn't, bro. But you didn't, bro. So definitely half reps from both of us. Win a win a chicken dinner. All right guys, just got home, showered, packing everything, Sammy's bag as well. We're going back to Birmingham. It's much easier for Sammy to stay in her routine. Something to be said for routine is just very, very key to get into the routine of things. You know, waking up at the same time, going to sleep at the same time, training at the same time. Your body becomes more efficient um, at kind of hitting those sessions, in fact, and, and more efficient at utilizing your meals at different times. So if you're trying to become more sensitive to carbs, um, to fuel your workouts better, you know, no carbs up until pre-workout, your body knows that pre-workout carbs are coming, it's gonna hit them, it's gonna react a lot better in the long run. So we're just gonna pack, gonna go over. I may or may not film when I get there, there's nothing ready to film, um, so I might pick this up tomorrow, but we're gonna train in Ultimate Fitness. What's up, guys? We, oh, guys. We are in Birmingham, Sammy. Just got here last night. We actually missed the train yesterday. So we didn't get in until about midnight. Let me show you what I get when I come to Birmingham. Um, it's not gonna be like a full shop. It's gonna be kind of just topping up because I brought some stuff with me. So here's what I'm eating today, guys. I tried to make my pre-workout meal, which is pretty much pre-made. It is going to be one banana. I have 100 grams of banana. Three rice cakes. And a chicken breast. I know, how weird is that? This meal probably works out about 50 grams of carbs and about 35 grams of protein with the chicken breast. Um, and that's it, I'm gonna make my intro workout which is 80 grams of cyclic dextrin at the moment, five grams of creatine and 15 grams of BCAs, which is a straight protein. And then the majority of my carbs are still post-workout. I still think it's pretty high, about, about 150 maybe, 175. Um, I actually haven't worked that one in a while, so. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna eat this, we're gonna walk into town, Sammy's gotta do things, a few things with the bank, go to the gym, Ultimate Fitness, have our pre-workouts, and get busy. Guys, I'm gonna try this pre-workout today. This is Sammy's pre-workout. Look at these fucking ingredients. Citrulline, six grams per two scoops, which is what I'm gonna be doing. Beta uh, and, and hydro, I don't even know how to pronounce this, 2.5 grams, 1.5 grams of taurine, 320 grams of uh, 320 milligrams of caffeine. Guys, when you see this, when you see all these like crazy companies with, oh, I've got the next best uh, pre workout, all this bullshit, I don't know sneeze. Odds are it's not that good. You know, I used to think that C4 was incredible, and then I actually did some research. And I was just like, nah, it's actually shit. Like, you need like clinical doses of these things to make a difference. For example, the L-citrullinus in here, the clinical doses of to actually feel 
these products that actually get a benefit from these products is up towards five grams. There is six grams in two scoops, three grams in one scoop. You go tell me, and there's probably a few, but go tell me a pre-workout that has this, a mainstream pre-workout that has this, this amount of citronine in it. Um, I think somewhere between one, for someone my height, my age, my weight, between 250 and 350 um, milligrams of caffeine is perfect. This has 320 per two scoops, so it's absolutely perfect. Um, the the betaine on, on anhydrous, you know, it's a great dose, it's 2.5 grams. Taurine, 1.5 grams, guys. There's so much taurine in these bullshit pre-workouts that's like 200 milligrams. Everyone's like, oh, it's got taurine in it. You're not gonna feel anything from 200 milligrams, guys. So, you really just use caffeine as the filler, you know? Yeah, like a lot of people would just up dose the caffeine because it's cheap and the beta aniline because you, you feel the itchiness um, so people are like oh yeah I can feel this pre-workout really just because you're itchy it's just because it's got a high dose of beta aniline yeah beta aniline is going to give you some kind of benefits but um, you need the full range of, well, of chemicals to kind of give you the the benefit so this is PES science PES science um, company they do a high volume one which is pretty much the same but just without the caffeine so this, yeah, this has got four, it's four. It's even higher. It has even more citrus. Yeah, this has even more citrus in it, per se. Um, it's even purer. And yeah, like this is like if you guys know Jeff Nippard, Nippard, however you pronounce it, he's sponsored by these guys, and they're kind of making kind of waves in the industry at the moment because they're everything is science based and they're actually getting and real. And protein is amazing. And they're getting real, real products out there. So I turn up to the gym, realize I forgot my camera. Gets about 90% of the way through the workout. Go into the side of my bag. Yeah, my camera was here, so <laughs> missed the whole workout. Um, I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna finish it. I'll talk you through the workout that I did do. Um, I'm gonna give you some value, give you some topic to talk about, so you guys get something from this video. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Damn girl. And I'm not even doing body fitness. Jeez. <laughs> okay guys, session is done. Now we've got 20 minutes brisk walk. Um, Sammy has 50 minutes to do. I've got 20 minutes, so we're gonna do 20 minutes to wait home. And Sammy's gonna go do her extra 30 minutes later. Uh, I got. I know. I put a few clips of Sammy in that workout, and uh, if she's okay with it, I'm gonna show you guys, you guys, some photos of like the transformation that Sammy's made. It's been crazy, crazy. She's now two, two weeks, 15 days, 15 days out. So it'll be two weeks tomorrow, which is crazy. Can't wait to support her. That is the Zach King Khan Classic in St Albans. So if you're there, drop me a message. We'll do a meetup and shout Sammy's name when she goes on stage. So I want to talk to you guys quickly about kind of controlling the variables while dieting in order to ensure that you're kind of progressing and, and making sure your things are going right, guys. You need to be sleeping well. It's kind of one. I had, I've had a few kind of off nights the last few nights and I've noticed it in my training. It's kind of six hours sleep rather than eight, nine. I'm a big sleeper, so I do love my sleep. Um, and then last night I had a fucking perfect sleep. Sammy's bed is like incredible. Memory foam, mattress, pillows everywhere, big comfy uh, duvet. Um, so that really helped with today's workout. So we've got sleep, um, got nutrition timing, so kind of not piling your carbs in on breakfast and then training really late at night, you know, kind of keeping those around the workout so you're kind of more efficient and fueling the workout properly. Um, and in opposite, kind of not piling all your carbs at night um, and then training really really early so nutrient timing is quite a good one there um, by variables guys we do mean that anything that can change and anything that you can manipulate yourself so mindset as well guys kind of being in the mood to train well like for me once you step into that gym things need to just be switched on there's no there's no in between there's no like oh this is gonna be a hard session it, it, it has to be this is gonna be a hard session, but I'm gonna fucking kill it. Like, you just have to be chasing numbers. You have to be sure of yourself going into these sets. There's no kind of half-hearted, oh, it's, oh, I've gotta do this, I've gotta do that. Like, you, you can't really afford that. Um, 
when you're looking to keep muscle as a natural athlete. So kind of mindset is a variable thing in my opinion. Um, and all of these kind of variables will lead to a mindset. Um, if you have shit sleep, if you don't you know, eat enough, you're gonna feel it and, and it's gonna affect your mindset. Uh, one more thing is hydration. So if you don't drink enough water, you're not gonna be able to kind of, you're not gonna be as efficient um, in moving, in, in doing anything really, because 80% or whatever it is, water, if you're kind of dehydrating, you're not really going to be functioning properly as a human. Your digestion is going to be off. Uh, just moving nutrients around the body is going to be off, which in turn moving carbohydrates to the muscles is going to be off. You're not going to get a pump. It's going to be extremely hard to get a pump. Um, so just keeping that water high will really, really help. There are a few more variables, guys, but I'm super hungry right now. Like I'm like I'm like shaking. I need some food. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to have my post-workout meal, um, and I'm going to wrap this video up a little bit later. Yeah. Post workout meal, 60 grams of whey, one rice crispy square, 150 grams of cereal. Post post workout is going down. We've got 225 grams of shikan. I'm gonna do technically not my plan, but same macros calories. So we ain't bros in this bitch. Um, rice noodles. I have rice anyway, so it's easy, easy transfer over. Um, I have 210 grams of these, these are straight to wok, so I'm gonna mix them in. All right guys, my uh, final meal is gonna be 75 grams of oats, 30 grams of honey, and 20 grams of raisins, and a pretty jake. I'm pretty bloated right now, still from that meal, it's like 10.30, so I'm probably gonna wait 20 more minutes or so, then I'm gonna have my last meal. Gonna get in the shower, I'm gonna call it a night. I am knackered, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of crossover video, a little bit of legs, a little bit of back, actually no back. A little bit of legs, a little bit of information, and uh, I'll be back very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow, we're getting leaner. Lowest weigh-in so far is 94.3. I was 94.5 this morning. So I'm probably not gonna be a new low weigh-in because I've eaten so late today. Um, but I'm definitely the leanest I've ever been, you can see kind of, the veins of my shoulders coming through already. Might even get a thumbnail right now. Let me see. So, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. See you very, very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.